Hey girl, so today's video is going to be my updated rump storage for July 2015. So yeah, if you don't know what rumps are, right off I'm just like right off the top, I'm just gonna say that rumps stand for reusable menstrual products. Um, so yeah, just that's what rumps stands for. So I will probably be saying rumps a lot in this video. And if you're like, well, what's rumps? Rumps again stands for reusable menstrual products, which is cloth pads, cloth tampons, um, <clears throat> crochet tampons, um, menstrual cups, um, a whole bunch of other stuff, but that's mainly like the basics, cloth wipes, cup spots. If you don't know, I'll go more into detail about these products when I show you my storage for it and stuff. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. Um, I have a random hair right there. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started on this video. Okay girls, so this is just a brief overview of everything that I have in my rumps storage or again reusable menstrual products. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and get started over here with all of my cloth pads and liners and stuff from here to there and then here are all of my cloth pads and liners. So back here, um, these three right here are overnights. These two are ones that I have made, and then this one is one from Panda Buns. And then this, um, let's see, hold on. All of these, from here to here, are Heavy Flow. This is a Panda Buns, Panda Buns, Panda Buns, me, and me, me. Um, all of the ones that I have made are right there. And then from here to here are Regular Flow. And also, up here, our regular flow. So, um, let's see, yeah, so from here to all the way up there, but I'll start off right here. This is a Panda Buns. I made this. Panda Buns. I made this. I made this. I made this. I made this. This is a, um, me, I made that. This is a Panda Buns. And then from here to here are my cloth, um, or my just light day pads. And so I made this, Panda Buns made this, I made this, I made this. From here to here are my liners. I have, I made this, I made this, I made this, and I made this. So yeah, that's that. And then now on to... Um, all of the rest of this stuff. First off, I'm just going to start with all of my cloth wipes and my cup spots. If you're wondering what these are on top, these are called wing extenders for my pads. So I just attach these onto the snaps of my pads if I want to make a um, pad longer or like the width wider. Then I can just add these wing extenders and I made these and I know that they're definitely not perfect. They're just made out of scraps but it's kind of hard to sew them because they're such small scraps. So. I just did my best, but anyways, that's just what those look like. Then, um, now into cup spots. I've had a couple of questions about what are cup spots. Cup spots are a thing that you can use out in the public. You can use it on your how in your house. Um, what you do is when you you put this on your countertop in your bathroom, or you can put it on like the toilet roll dispenser in a public restroom. They usually have like that like metal flat piece or whatever, and you can just put it on top of there while you're taking out your cup if you need to empty it, and you just lay this like this say this was the um the like top of the cupboard or whatever your flat surface and you just put this on it and then you put your cup on top of it and this just collects all the blood and everything so then it doesn't get everywhere so yeah that's just what that looks like and then when you flip it over um it depends on like certain things have different fabrics but this is fleece on the back and then what you can do if you're not going to put your cup in again you can always wipe out your cup and then just put it into your wet bag um, and I'll get more into all the stuff that I just said in, like, future videos and in this video. But, yeah, stay tuned for all that. So, I have this one that Panda Buns made me. I have this one that Panda Buns made me. This one that Panda Buns made me. And all of hers are fleece, no, sorry, fl yeah, fleece-backed and cotton-topped, unless I say otherwise. I have this one that Panda Buns made me. This is a, again, cotton-top and fleece-backed. I have this one that I made, which is a, um, wait, no, I didn't make this. 
did I? No, I didn't, sorry. Panda Buns made this one, and this is a, um, flannel, sorry, I get flannel and fleece messed up a lot. This is fleece backed and cotton topped. Then this is one that I made. This is flannel topped and fl and cotton backed. This is another one that I made. Flannel topped, cotton back. Then this one, which was my very, very first cup spot. Um, I actually hand stitched this and then flipped it inside out and hand stitched it closed. As you can see right there. But, yeah, sorry about my nails. Anyways, it's just this really cute frog. And this is flannel topped and cotton backed. So, yeah, those are all of my cup spots. Now on to my cloth wipes that I have. Um, I'm probably not going to go into huge detail about these. I'll just go through and show you all. Actually, I don't know. I'm not going to go through and show you. I'm not going to take them out. But anyways, I just have these ones on top that I made. I have some panda buns in here. I have panda buns, panda buns, panda buns, panda buns, me, and panda buns. So, yeah, most of these are panda buns, though. And there, some are minky backed, and um, most of them are cotton topped. And then the backing is mm, either flannel, fleece, or minky. So yeah, and wipes you just use out in the public if you just want to wipe down there and freshen up. If you don't have any toilet paper or anything like that, then those are perfect. Then um, right here I have my wet bags. Um, this one right here with the zipper I made myself, and I am so proud of this because very first time sewing a zipper and I did it on a wet bag it was, it was amazing, <laughs> a miracle pretty much. So I just have my, um, wet bag right there, and then I have, here, I can probably take out my wet bags. Um, so I just have this one right here, which Panda Buns made me, and it, this is P-U-L, and if you don't know what P-U-L is, um, I'm gonna probably butcher this name but it's like polyurethane laminate or something like that and it is a waterproofing um fabric sorry if there's any background noise um but yeah so this is just what it looks like and there she just tied a really cute ribbon on it and then yeah sorry for the background noise I'm sorry girls um but yeah so that's just what it looks like and she it just has snaps on it and when you open the snaps sorry I'll let you look at this while I try to get the snaps open because I'm filming with one hand, so I only have one hand to get the snaps open. But anyways, it's just a bag. And you put your soiled cloth pads. Um, you can put your soiled menstrual cups in here. You can put pretty much anything in here that's cloth related. Or you can put uncloth related in here if you really want to. So I just have that one that Panda Buns made me. Then the next one that I have is one that Panda Buns made me as well. This one's just a little bit bigger than the other one. And that's just what it looks like with the pink ribbon again. Then the next one is the one that I made. It's a little different style. This one is longer, not as, it's actually, yeah, it's not as quite as wide as the biggest one the Panda Buns made me, but it's pretty wide, and it is kind of folded over, but when it's not like that, I don't know if I can do this with one hand, I'll let you look at that again, but, oh, this is so much harder than I thought, sorry girls, um, but, okay, so, when it's not like that, it's bigger. It's not letting me do it, but it is bigger. It's just naturally folded like that because that's the way that I sewed it. But, I mean, it's not sewn like that because there is still, like, a sewn right there. If that makes any sense. It probably doesn't. But, anyways, that's just what it looks like. This is also made of P.U.L. and a ribbon and the zipper, which I am so proud of. So, yeah. Then, next we have... Um, uh, these right here, which are all of my, um, cloth, what are they called? Cloth pad wrappers. And I have this one, which I made. It's just, like, fold over one. Then I have this one, which I made, which is made out of P.U.L. I have this one, which Panda Buns made me, which is made out of cotton. Panda Buns made this one, and it's, like, a foldable one. Like, you just fold it over, um, made out of cotton. Then this one that Panda Buns made me, made out of cotton. This one that I made, um, this is made out of P.U.L. Then this one that I made, which is made out of cotton. So, yeah. Um, and that's all of my, um, pad wrappers. 
I actually have one more powder wrapper, but it's in my purse right now, just in case I start my period while I'm out and about. Um, I usually actually keep a clawed path in there just in case I don't keep disposables in there. Just because I'm usually not out very long when I have my purse with me. Like, it's never like a day-long thing, so I'm always fine. And it is a PU back, PUL-backed pad, so I can wear it as long as I want, really, um, depending on my flow. Because PUL is waterproof, so it will not leak. But, yeah. Um, so that's everything from all of my pad wrappers and stuff and so I'm just trying to put these back in and then on the side right here I would put my wet packs back in but I'm not going to worry about that right now but yeah anyways on my side right here I have these um plackers for count high performance dental brushes and the reason why I have these is no not to um clean my teeth with but they just they clean the holes of the menstrual cups when you wear a menstrual cup sometimes blood gets stuck inside the um, suction release holes and so you just use these to clean them out with because the bristle I'm not sure if you can tell but the bristle is very very fine so I've never actually had to use one of these the package is open because I wanted to see what they looked like um, so yeah then next we have um, if you're wondering what this purple thing is it is a disposable menstrual cup and this is a um, what's the word it's a um, instead soft cup, that's the word. Um, this is a disposable instead soft cup. I need to go buy more of these. <clears throat> Sorry. But yeah, that's just what it looks like. I mean, it's in this packaging. I'm not going to open it because I am going to use it on my next, next cycle. Um, so yeah. And then right here, I just have my organic cup, cup, um, box. And then right here, I have my Equate Personal Lubricant, which is just compared to the KY Jelly brand. And the reason why I have this is is of course to insert my menstrual cups so yeah that's just what that looks like and yeah it's just four ounces and yes i have used that only for menstrual cups though so anyways then right here i have my um femi cycle cup and i will be taking all of my cups out of their bags and showing you girls them and the bags themselves but that's just the femi cycle this is the femi cycle regular then I have the Femi Cycle in this bag. I have the Femi Cycle Teen and the Femi Cycle Low Cervix. This company um, sent me these items to do a review for their company and do a comparison of all of them. So this is the Femi Cycle Teen, and then this is the Femi Cycle Low Cervix. So, yeah, uh, and then this is just the bag. Then next, right here, I have my ruby cup, which this is just what the bag looks like. It just says ruby cup on it. I love this bag, by the way. And it just has my pink ruby cup in it with the stem and everything. I have not sterilized this yet. I'm going to probably sterilize it this weekend or next weekend sometime. Um, and I'll actually probably film a video about it, how to sterilize a menstrual cup. Um, in the stove top because I've already done I had to sterilize a menstrual cup in the microwave and if you want to go watch that video um, it's down my video feed somewhere so yeah and then one other thing that I have in here is the ruby cup menstrual cup instructions for use guide thing so yeah I just keep that in the little ruby cup bag and I also was sent this product to do a review so yeah then next I have my organic cup, organic cup which just looks like this um, well, at least the bag does. And then when I open up the bag, it has the actual cup inside of it. And I can't get this bag open. There we go. Maybe not. <laughs> um, ugh, this does not want to come off or come out. So this is just what the bag looks like. It's just a plain natural 100% um, natural cotton organic bag. And sorry for the shakiness, but that's just what this looks like. Then I have my Organic Cup, and this is my very first menstrual cup that I ever used. And this was sent to me to do a review, and that will review will be up shortly. So I'm really excited for that, and that's just what that cup looks like. Sorry, I'm trying to get this to focus. But, yeah. So next we have my um, two cup bags right here, which Panda Buns, Rio from Panda Buns, sent me, or made me. Um... I just have this one and then this one because my, when I received my lady cups, they didn't come with a cup bag, but 
So I just asked her if she would sew me some, and I paid her, of course. Um, so this is my Ruby Cup Small. I mean, sorry, my Lady Cup. Sorry, my Lady Cup Small. And that's just what that looks like. And then in here, I have my Lady Cup Large. And I didn't get any information about these cups or anything when they came. So I was sent these to do a review, but I'm kind of struggling on how I'm going to do a review on these because they didn't send me in any information about their cups or anything. But these are just the Lady Cup Large and the Lady Cup Small. Or size 1 and size 2. So yeah, that's just what they look like. And that's all of the cups that I have in here, and all my cups usually go back there. But again, here's just a brief overview of everything that I have in my storage. Um, if you girls would like me to do a review on any of these products, or a review on any of the menstrual cups, or a menstrual cup comparison video, please comment that down below, um, and I can certainly do that for you. If you have commented um, requests to do it for me to do kits for you, um, I'm sorry, but I'm not taking any kit requests um, I've decided that I'm not going to make anybody kits right now just because I'm super busy and I don't have time to make kit videos. Um, so yeah, anyways, if you want to see reviews on any of my cloth products, reviews on any of these menstrual cups, reviews on, um, like a cup comparison on, on all of my cups, please leave that down in the description box below and I will reply to you or give your video or give your comment a thumbs up, which means that I probably will end up doing that video um, sometime in the future. So thank you girls so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to, again, like and subscribe. And check out um, the description box for just some information and stuff. Um, go follow me on Instagram, which is girlhelp101. And I will see you girls in my future videos. I'm sorry that this video was so long, but I hope you girls enjoyed it. Again, thanks so much for watching. Bye, girls!